Michigan closing schools in response to the COVID-19 pandemic had many parents and guardians of students scrambling. One Lansing School District parent has been finding ways to fill the void. Hello, my name is Ellie Wong. I am a Lansing resident, a Lansing parent, and a Lansing business owner. Um, my husband and I have four daughters. Uh, we have twins that are nine that go to Post Oak Elementary School, and then we have a three-and-a-half-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old. When asked about the transition from school to learning at home, Wong stated it has had its challenges. However, they've found ways to continue the learning process. Honestly, our schedule at home is not as rigorous as probably it should be, um, but we are using all of the wonderful um, links and exercises that the schools are providing and also suggesting. Um, we're using Study Island, we're using Typing.com, we're using Duolingo because our kids um, go to a Chinese immersion school. For Wong and her family, there has been a benefit to this situation. School closures have um, affected the kids in many ways, one of which being that we are, I mean, we're spending a lot more time outside. We are spending more time with family and actually just slowed down the pace a little bit. Um, so those are the great things that are happening is that we are we're more connected as a family and honestly, we're more connected to our roots and to our, and to our home. More information from Lansing School District can be found at lansingschools.net. In addition to the academic resources, the School Closure Food Service Program has been extended through June 5, 2020. Please visit lansingschools.net forward slash food for the most up-to-date schedule for the latest details that will take effect starting Monday, April 13th.